The Book of Joel, Chapter 1. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethuel, Hear this, ye old men, and give ear, all ye inhabitants of the land. Has this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers? Tell ye your children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children another generation, that which the palworm, palmer worm has left, has the locust eaten, and that which the locust has left, has the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm has left, has the caterpillar eaten. Awake, ye drunkards, and weep, and howl, all ye drinkers of wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation is come upon my land, strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he has the cheek teeth of a great lion. He has laid my vine waste, and barked my fig tree. He has made it clear bare, and cast it away. The branches thereof are made white. Lament like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth. The meat offering and the drink offering is cut off from the house of the Lord. The priests, the Lord ministries, mourn. The field is wasted, the land mourns, for the corn is wasted. The new wine is dried up, the oil languished. Be ye ashamed, O ye husbandmen. Howl, O ye vine dressers. For the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. The vine is dried up and the fig tree languishes. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also. The apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered, because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Gird yourselves and lament, ye priests, howl, ye ministers of the altar. Come, lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God. For the meat offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of your God. Sanctify ye a fast, call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land unto the house of the Lord your God, and cry unto the Lord. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come. Is not the meat cut off before your eyes? Yes, joy and gladness from the house of your God. The seed is rotten under their clods, the gardeners are laid desolate, the barns are broken down and the corn is withered. How do the beasts groan? The herds of cattle are perplexed, because they have no pasture. Yes, the flocks of sheep are made desolate. O Lord, to thee will I cry, for the fire has devoured the pictures of the wilderness, the pastures of the wilderness, and the flame has burned all the trees of the field. The beasts of the field cry also unto thee, for the rivers of waters are dried up, and the fire has devoured the pastures of the wilderness. Chapter 2 Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord comes, for it is near at hand. A day of darkness and of gloomingness, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There has not been ever the like, neither shall be ever more like it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burns. The land is in as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yes, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as the horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devours the stubble, or as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face the people shall be much pained, all faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men, and shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They will walk every one in his path, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb upon the houses and shall enter in at the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Therefore also now, says the Lord, 
turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repent him of the evil. Who knows if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering, a drink offering unto the Lord your God? Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breasts. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep before the between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, but the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land, the pity and pity his people. Yes, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, and I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith, and I will no more make your reproach among the heathen. But I will remove far off from you the northern army, and will drive him into a land barren and desolate, and his face toward the east sea, and his hinder part toward the uttermost sea, and his stink shall come up, and his ill savior shall come up, because he has done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree bears her fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you former rain moderately, and will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the vats shall be overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaid in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will shew wonders into the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.